Hi guys, today we're going to run through estimates, how to use a template or set them up from scratch. So from the project dashboard you'll see estimates in the top left. Uh, I've created a few here but you'll see you can create from scratch, you can upload your own document or you can use one of our templates. At House, we have put in a couple of templates for you to give you an idea of what you can achieve. You can edit these templates to suit your own purposes. And once you've done that, you can save them to my templates, give them another name, add in additional costings, save it exactly how you like it. So it just depends on what you want to do. Once you get to the estimate itself, you'll see all of your company information has been pulled through from your setup. You can edit that in the top right by hitting the pencil icon. You can edit the billing information, the company information, and the customer information. Here you'll be able to give yourself a little bit of additional spacing should you need it. Here you can group by category or room or choose none. This will allow you to break the project up into different phases and present it to your clients. In the settings tab, you can choose what fields you want to show on the estimates. You can also create bespoke fields specifically for your company. You can choose from thousands of items from our parts list to add to your estimate or else you can create your own from scratch. To create a new item within a category, you simply click the plus button which says add new item. Then by typing in the item you wish to add, you can search through your own existing catalog, our catalog, or else you can create an entirely new item yourself. This will add it in cabinetry to the category carpentry. In the quantity, you can put in however many units there are. I've selected pieces of cabinetry, I've given it a material cost and a labor cost, and you can see all of the calculations have been done for me. When right clicking the line item, you'll be given additional options such as save to library or you can move it between categories. Once you're happy with your estimate and that everything's been accounted for, you can set up your schedule of payments. This is completely customizable, so you can change the name of the payment, change the percentage of it and obviously the dates of it. You can also attach additional files from your files and photos, such as your marked up from your takeoffs, or you can attach them from your computer here. You also have your terms and conditions. By and large, these tend to be the same every time you send out a project. So you can set up your own template of your terms and conditions and attach them to every estimate you send out. Now we're ready to send the estimate. You can hit preview. Here in the settings, you'll be able to determine what exactly you want to show to your clients. So you can take out things like the quantity, the unit cost, the labor cost, um, or you can choose to leave them in. Again, totally customizable and however it is you want to deal with your clients. Using House, you can also get an electronic signature from your clients to give you that extra bit of comfort knowing you can go ahead and order all those materials. When you finally are ready to send it, you can either download the PDF, get the link and send it via your own email or send it through House, whatever you are most comfortable with.